Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to today's sharing of Harmonize to Energize. How are you all doing? Or how are you all being? Or how are you all? How are you all? <laughs> Let's just um, practice some exhalations. Letting go, dropping your shoulders, left or right. <clears throat> and just feel where you are or where you might be right now in your total being, in your consciousness. You know, we make this division in Jin Shin Jitsu of soul, mind, and body, bus line, waistline, bus line, waistline and hip line, <clears throat> or thoughts, words, and deeds. And sometimes I feel, I know I don't, always observe those thoughts, uh, those feelings that perhaps precede the thoughts. So let's just take a couple of minutes here just to observe, just to witness what we're feeling what thoughts may be arising from those feelings. It could be anything. Just observe. How is your body adapting to those feelings and thoughts? How do you want to express them? Or not? Feel that you are connected, whether you're always aware of it or not to a field of energy that surrounds you 360 degrees, from head to toe, skin to bone, from heaven the head, to earth the feet. And energy spirals in through our head, in through our hips, down the front of our body, and then returns up the back. We talk about the movement of Man's best friend to man's best friend, dog to God. But how often do we actually connect to that spiral fully? How much do we really bring that heaven to earth? And how much do we get stuck halfway down, usually in the waistline, in the mind? usually our thoughts and judgments about what is and what should never be. And maybe our emotions are coloring that what is and what should never be. But there's a harmony. There's a harmony constant which lies beneath all that, which whether we consciously are aware of it or not, is wanting to fill us continuously with a balanced perspective. And of course, I can hear some people say, what is balance? Your balance is not my balance, I get it. Because our life's journeys are different, unique. But the art of Jin Shin Jitsu, for those of you that are completely new, is an art of harmonizing the life energy in the body. And it is sometimes known as an art of compassion. Where do we find compassion? See whether you can feel when you even think the word compassion. Where do you feel it in your body? I'm gonna to suggest to you it's in the bus line, in the heart, lung area, the center of our feelings. So when we 
experience compassion, I believe, it helps us bring into perspective all those threads and strands of activities going on around us that we may or may not understand, stand under, acknowledge, witness, observe, not judge, just, okay, it is what it is, and as it is, it is, whatever we may feel about it. And Mary, when she described what we're going to experience today, Safety NG Lock 24, those of you that have the book, including me, will see on page 59 of Self-Help Book 2, 24 came into the universe, meaning understanding, harmonizing chaos. And many of you may well have decided that chaos is a natural part of existence and eventually it all balances out. Others may feel, I don't like the feeling of chaos. I don't like what it appears to be doing, maybe discombobulating things, disorganizing things. But you know, energy has to move. And if there are obstructions in the way of energy, those spirals sometimes discombobulate until they find congruency. So seen from a purely physical quantum perspective, the movement of energy is looking for harmony and it does whatever it can to find harmony. And sometimes it isn't pretty because the obstructions to harmony are so huge that the energy has to work a little harder. And when it works a little harder, it gets hot. And heat generates fire. Fire burns and it can be hot to the touch, to the feel. But then when we exhale, we allow the cooling component of the elements, the water element, to come in and bring in a more moderate temperature. The water element helping us clarify what the fire element has scorched the earth with and said, you know what, this has to be out of the way now. Whew. Okay, when the dust settles, by the way, that's ascending energy, the fire. When the dust settles, the water percolating, descending down the body, all the way from the head to the feet, cools the system and clarifies. And we begin to see what we didn't see before. So for me, Safety Energy Lock 24 is helping us to clarify the chaos, the disturbance, the heat, when it becomes too intense, when there is no obvious harmony. We need both components. We need the inhale, the fire, and the exhale, the water. And they keep their dance going at different variations according to the resistance they meet, the blockages they meet. And in Jinshin Jitsu, we have 26 safety energy locks, which we place our hands on in order to harmonize blockages in the body, in the energy pathways that are constructed around and through, above us and below us, to keep us in this cocoon of balance, harmony. And when that happens, we're surprised sometimes of how different we feel. And when it lasts a long time, we want more of it. But then something happens and the congruence gets thrown out. What are we going to do? Well, we could touch Safety Energy Lock 24, which just happens to be just below the ring toe on the left and right foot. We could do that. We could lean down and we could touch our feet. And when we do that, 
we can breathe out because all of a sudden the body is moving in the direction of down. And we can go down from head to foot. You can try that if you'd like sometime, not necessarily now, but it's just that sense of bringing things to earth, containing it, and giving us a chance to wash our vision of any thoughts that may be incongruent. So bringing understanding to harmonize the chaos. And as we've been doing, and as I intend to continue doing, if that's okay with you, give some perspectives before we practice holding, connecting to Safety Energy Lock 24 and all the other safety energy locks in the field. It's sometimes the case that we think just because we're holding safety energy locks individually, that that's all we're doing. Wrong already. Whenever we connect to one, we're connecting to all of them. The thing is, the connection is either congruent or it isn't. And that's where the blockages are. If you're not following this, it's okay, it's how. All is one and one is all. <clears throat> Any safety energy lock brings you back to wholeness. But they're all there because they have different roles within the oneness, within the wholeness. Okay. So I just wanted to add that little tidbit in case you're sitting there thinking, well, that's it. I'll just hold safety energy lock 24 and I'll harmonize all the chaos in the world. Huh. If that was the case, why did Mary show us holding safety energy lock 26 to help safety energy lock 24? Think about it, or rather don't think about it. <clears throat> Feel it. Experience it. Anyway, from the book, The Main Central. And uh, for any of you that I knew, if I didn't introduce myself, um, I'm actually Terry Matthews and I work on behalf of Mary Burmeister Jin Jin Jitsu Institute and have done for a reasonable amount of time. And this book here, excerpts from the main central, is gonna give us some insights from teachers that have studied Jin Jin Jitsu in some depth, some who have now retired, some who have now left, but nonetheless, their wisdom remains. Muriel Carlton, on this beautiful day, as the music of Mozart's clarinet concerto and his clarinet quintet in A major, followed by Bizet's Lars the N, suite number two, wafts through the room, I am holding my little finger, asking for inspiration pertaining to Safety Energy Lock 24. That's the connection between Safety Energy Locks and the finger holds. It's found on the little finger. Anyone who knows Muriel Carlton will know what she's saying here is very typical of Muriel. And Muriel, if you're watching, God loves you and so do I. Um, so Muriel says she became acutely aware of the attitude of trying to and the chaos and disharmony it brings into our earthly experience. Safety Energy Lock 24 came into the universe, meaning understanding, harmonizing chaos, which in turn facilitates the exploration of the self. Yes, I mean, can you explore your soul, mind, and body while you're feeling chaos? I doubt it. I think you'd be trying to a lot. Wayne Hackett. It's often said X marks the spot. And in mathematical equations, X represents the solution. In both uses, X is associated with the discovery of the hidden or unknown. This mystery solving quality of X comes to humans through safety energy lock 24, the third six, two and four is six. The first one is safety energy lock six. Second one is 15. Now you're beginning to see another relationship with why each safety energy lock is not independent of the other. Right. Sixing, whose function is to balance, brings physical balance, 
mental balance, safety engine lock 15, and spiritual balance, safety engine lock 24. All trialed at Reger Krauser from Germany. Safety energy lock number 24 brings total peace for spirit, mind, and body. It is born within the fifth depth. Those of you that know what the fifth depth is, it helps harmonize the heart and small intestine, the area where most of us will feel our emotions. Fifth depth helps me to become who I really am. When I am experiencing that depth of my being, there is peace, there is understanding, and all feelings of hmm, jealousy, revenge, and stubbornness are gone. 24 adds up to six, and six means balance. That's why I can use the 2426 flow whenever the pulses are very chaotic and I don't know what to do or when someone is panicking. Okay, so when we don't know what to do, we simply exhale in Jin Shin Jitsu and B. Because really, the mind, in my understanding, my experience, my belief, does not have the capability of knowing always what we need to be. However, a heart connected as it is deeply into the consciousness, the wisdom factor does. I believe it's our journey to understand that to harmonize the chaos with that compassionate understanding of what is, is what it is. And the should never be is a should. I would erase that and say it is what it is and be an observer until the wisdom of the heart can teach you through intuition maybe why things happen like they do. So let us begin by practicing. And for those of you that aren't familiar, I like to practice with a technique that Mary Burmeister taught, which is four sets of nine exhalation inhalations. An exhalation is releasing energy from the back of the head, safety engine lock number four, through the groin, safety engine lock 15, to the big toe, safety engine lock seven. And with safety engine lock 24, just across the way there on the ring toe, we know we are working head to toe here. But the groin is not so much a bypass as it's a passing through, like a, a passing note in music. You know, you have a one note and then in between the sharp or the flat passes through to the next level. And it's opening up our whole groin area, our whole ability to allow more subtler energy to be released to more denser energy and grounding. So Mary shows us page 59 in the, in the book. She shows us where it is, like I said, just below the ring toe, about an inch. And then she shows us three major practices. We'll turn them into four because we're gonna begin and end on a hug. So let's begin. She's holding the 26. We just heard that the 2624 can help harmonize chaos. Ultra Rega Krauser. Yes, it does. The thumb goes underneath the shoulder girdle. The fingers go on the side of the shoulder blade, left or right. If this is uncomfortable for you, take one hand away and put it on the left groin. Or that's if you're holding the left 26. If you're holding the right, it's gonna go on the right groin. Or you could actually switch one hand across to the other side. This follows the understanding of mediation, the crisscross of energy. Make it easy on yourself, do what comes natural to you. And we sit up as straight as we can. If you need a cush to support your back, get yourself a cush, support your back. Drop those shoulders, drop them. 
Prop, 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 prop. Exhale. And the energy then can be released and spiral down from the head through the groin to the toes, getting the giving the opportunity to let go of that which we no longer need in order to build something fresh, maybe just a fresh perspective. And then inhaling to further purify. And the inhale moves the energy up the back through the spine. And those of you that are familiar with the energy centers, Mary never called them chakras, but they are. And as that energy moves up through the spine, left and right, right and left through the center, different names and different cultures. It's purifying stuck energy at the most deepest, subtlest levels of our being. Let's do that nine times. Here we go. Exhale. Close eyes. Avoid distractions. Turn off your telephone, your cell phone, your wireless. Anything that can distract you. Switch off. Relax. Breathe out. And allow yourself to trust that what you're letting go of is no longer needed in this moment for you. And then as the energy reaches the big toe, safety engine lock seven, victory, perfect life power, we naturally inhale. Mother Earth allows us the support with our feet, and then it allows us to breathe in cosmic purified energy all the way up the legs, up the back, through the spine, either side of the spine, back to the occipital, safety in your lock four. Eight more times, here we go. And just become aware, what's happening for you? Where are you? Who are you? Why are you? That's the mind, let it go. Just simply observe. And that observe, is a feeling. Surrender.
France. And when you reach the ninth exhalation inhalation, let's go into neutral zone, if you're not already, and observe. For me, the expansion of the field has begun, the energy field between all of us, whether we know it, see it, feel it, we're all connected. It's like strands of tinsel, silvery golden tinsel on a Christmas tree, connects us all. And as a group, we can strengthen or not strengthen ourselves by our ability to allow the expansion of a positive field. What do I mean by a positive field? The thoughts and the words become the deeds. Observe your thinking. Are you coming from peace and harmony, understanding? or false evidence appearing real, fear? Is it the enemy? Yes and no. We can learn from fear, as long as we don't hold on to it. We can learn from happiness, as long as we don't try to be happy. Okay, good. The next practice is holding left or right little finger, where we said safety energy lock 24 can be harmonized on the fingers. And I like to inspect my fingers. We have the three segments, bus line, waistline, hip line. And then we put our other fingers around the sides of those segments, just to check in to see are they a little tighter. And we can pick on the one that's tightest and hold that, or we can get the whole lot in one go. Place your hand in the center groin area, center pubes, center 15. 15 meaning fill your heart, joy and laughter, by the way. Close eyes, keep shoulders down, keep back as straight as you can, relax, exhale. Nine times, exhale in. Feel your shoulders melting. Release of tension. The letting go experience. Feel your connection with Mother Earth. Always there, supporting us, grounding us, earthing us. And then allowing the cosmic purified energy to spiral back, cleaning the spine, the energy centers in the spine or chakras or soul houses, dependent which understanding you have or not.
Your metabolic rate is different to mine, no doubt. You finished already. Just allow the body to take its natural position, whatever that is. Notice how just simply by breathing out, some of those discombobulated, chaotic thoughts, feelings may be beginning to harmonize. Probably a good thing. And it is what it is. And as it is, it is. And then when you reach the ninth exhalation, inhalation, again, slip into that neutral zone if you're not already. Because after 18 exhalation inhalations, you may already feel that expansion of your energy field. And maybe you've connected to the expansion of everybody else's energy field. And by the way, if any of you are feeling contracted, just exhale a little more. Just drop your shoulders a little more. We don't really want to hold on to much of anything. Although I would say, hold yourself compassionately and hold others compassionately. By that, I don't mean. I mean, allowing them to be where they be right now. No judgment. And then the third practice Mary gives is holding the 26 again with the <clears throat> same side, the left hand in this case, going into the left groin or the opposite thigh, left groin, right thigh. Same with the um, right side, right 26, right groin or opposite thigh, bringing in that mediator. So whichever one works for you, find that comfortable pose, drop shoulders, relax and allow 26, which is all complete, harmonize with 24, communicate with 24, bring in greater understanding. The thoughts clarify, the words become appropriate, and the deeds harmonize. Nine exhalation inhalations. By the way, no particular way for anyone who's new, vis-a-vis, -vis, breathe through the nose, out through the mouth, comes what naturally, do what comes naturally to you. Let go of all that you think you know. And as you let go of that, and you breathe in the cosmic purified energy from the energy field all around you, 360 degrees and connecting to everyone else. Maybe you begin to see things with a broader range of vision, maybe. See what happens.
And again, when you reach the ninth exhalation inhalation, just pause yourself into that zone of acknowledgement of observation, 27 exhalation inhalations later. Feel how you feel, see how you feel. No particular judgment required, just an observation, witnessing. It is what it is and as it is, it is. And then finally, for the last, the fourth set of nine exhalations, we just bring the other hand across, left or right, arms underneath the shoulder girdle, and we're back where we began. We've gone full circle, 360. And we do the nine exhalation inhalations. Once more, close eyes, drop shoulders, begin. And again, as you reach the ninth exhalation inhalation, just witness what, how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling more connected to yourself. By that I mean capital S, self your soul and spirit through this particular hole covering as it does the lung and heart area. Maybe you're feeling that quality of compassion that Jin Shin Jitsu wants to represent. How does that feel? Does it broaden your vision? Do you feel more peaceful? Do you have a greater sense, a greater understanding by allowing that which you no longer understand or do not understand or do not need to just go naturally where it needs to go in order for you to be filled with greater awareness, greater consciousness, and tap into the wisdom of your soul, your intuition, your heart. Now, if that feels good for you, then maybe this is a practice that you can integrate into your life. And it could be just giving yourself a hug, 
Sometimes I feel that we don't love ourselves enough. And that's why we don't know how to love others enough. But here, we just connect. And in that connection, we can feel enough of enough. Because there is enough. We're in a field of energy. Endless, infinite energy, which is seeking harmony. It's seeking balance. All we have to do is have a similar intention. Let go and allow that harmony to thrive and flourish. Allow those obstacles, resistances within us and without to transform. And then at least we've got a foundation to move forward in what I would argue is a more positive way. It's not a right or wrong, it's an energy balance. Okay, well, how are you all feeling? Hopefully, well, well, whatever you're feeling. And is there any questions in the chat? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, the sun is shining after three days of clouds and rain. I feel energized, wonderful. How am I feeling like the world is totally messed up unless there is a radical entire global shift? We are doomed. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I, I understand those feelings. And yet, you know, Mother Nature is way more powerful than I am and I think you are. And it's always working towards homeostasis. It's always working towards balance. It's just sometimes it's not pretty. And when you see the elements, there's no doubt some of you, all of you have, the raging storms, the floods, the fires, you've seen the extremes, and then you see the beautiful sunny day. You get to see the duality that we live in. And somehow we have to go in between the two and go, it is what it is, and it is what it is. Does that mean we sit there inactive and go, yeah, yeah, no. It means we look at how we think and feel about something. And I believe we seek to find harmony within ourselves in order then to look at harmonious ways of balancing what feels uncomfortable. Because it's those feelings in the heart that we can learn from. And it's okay to feel uncomfortable and it's okay to speak that out. It's okay to say, this doesn't feel good. And it's okay. Experience that feeling and see where it takes you. And maybe it's the opposite. This feels okay. Experience that. Feel that where it takes you. And look always for the harmony in everything, the balance. Move forward, move to the side, move back, whatever you need to do with your action. And come, I believe, from the clearest, most harmonious, most compassionate space that you can. And stand for what you feel. On that pure level. And I mean the harmonizer of anger, the harmonizer of fear, the harmonizer of try to. I don't mean go out there and just express your emotions willy nilly, who cares? No. From the purest space within yourself, that harmonic, then it's more likely to reap a positive result. 
So thank you, everybody. I hope you have a good rest of the day and weekend, the rest of the week and um, Memorial Day in America on Monday, which is a holiday. I hope you find um, that an enjoyable time. If you can, go out into nature, maybe if that brings you joy. I know it does for a lot of us. Nature does teach us a lot, sunshine or rain. And when we connect to the elements, um, we can feel the energy of the universe, I think. So maybe do that. I think for the new people, I do have the ability to share the screen so that you can see what's going on in the world of Chin Chin. Yeah, I do. There we go. Mm. Yeah, the world of Jin Chin, we got some um, classes coming up. Two hour webinar, The Microcosm, The Sanctuary of the Body, presented by Jill Pasquinelli, Saturday, June the 4th. Here it is. Well, the information is there. Oh, my word. Look at all those relationships that we'll explore. Destiny and divine will catches my eye. Rebirth. Sowing the seeds for tomorrow. Register today. Information, PayPal. June the 4th, one of our very first in-person classes in the US, Fascination with Fascia. This is with Anita Willoughby, and it's in Florida. Begins Saturday, June the 4th. Here's all your details. Melissa is your organizer, registered today. 12 Organ Flows begins June the 10th. Online special topic class, all the organ flows. Liver, gallbladder, kidney, bladder, et cetera, et cetera. Reviewing body reading, focusing on self-help. With Sarah, registered today. Organizer Debbie Burnett and Terry Land. There's you. And today, I believe, joint pain, bones, and arthritic conditions, online study groups with Sarah, Maria, Miniello, and Jill Pasquinelli. There's the information registered today. And if you've missed anything, um, you can go to any of these links and click on them and sign up for any classes that you missed that you'd like to view now. By the way, for any of you that are wondering, um, you can click on the Harmonize to Energize link on the website now, and it'll give you the link to this offering um, every week if you've lost your email. It's going to be constantly, well, it's going to be there for as long as it's going to be there. So <clears throat> welcome, 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 welcome to your heart, to your compassion, to your joy. Say hello. Let that welcome connect with everybody else, that compassion, that joy. For the rest of your life, it doesn't mean to say that you won't feel different emotions. But I believe the compassion and the joy that the heart brings us is that which heals. It's the power of the soul. And that's what heals. And if we need more than anything else, I believe, is a constant reminder that we're healing, harmonizing, and balancing a world which often appears to be in chaos. Safety Energy Log 24. Thank you, everybody. Take care. I'm going to stop the recording and bid you all a fond farewell. Unless there's, wait a minute, wait a minute, unless there's any questions that I have missed. I no longer receive emails. Yeah, <clears throat> well, if anyone, um, let me put it in here. If anyone has only just found out about we're doing it on um, Zoom now, this is the email you want to write to, and uh, then I will put you on the list. H2Energize at gmail.com. All right. H2Energize at gmail.com.
And that, my friends, should give you the link. Can't quite reach my 26s. If I keep the thumb on the 22, should I drop the thumbs and reach around further? Yeah, why not? As long as you're covering the 22, thumb just happens to be um, a good ledge. Ledger. All right, enough from me. I think that's it. All right, people. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You so much. That was you're awesome. This was amazing. <laughs> uh, you're welcome you're welcome thank you uh you know i can't be this way without the energy field which you all bring as well we're all together in this and um i really um thank you for supporting the energy field because that's where we all expand from that's where we connect um within you without you is what i am graced by so thank you um Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. And, uh, thank you, Terry. You're welcome. Have a good holiday weekend, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Deborah, I love wherever you are. Are you oh, in a little hut outside? Thank you. I'm, I am sitting on my deck. I'm up in northern Arizona, um, a small town called 